subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. The William Pace Show, asking the questions you want to ask, getting the answers everyone wants to know. It's a new season of the William Pace Show. We're raising the bar with more commitment to educate, inform, encourage, inspire, empower, and help you have your best life. Everyone deserves to have their best life. I'm just staying the course. Here we go. Call Barton Productions at 275-0150. Now, without further ado, we probably present the William P. Show. My guest this evening is D.D. Harrison, owner of the Old Pages Bookstore in Inglewood. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Thank you. Tell me, how did you get started with the Old Pages Bookstore? Well, getting started was, um, of course, I loved reading as a child. Mm -hmm. And um, I had talked to a person who used to own a bookstore, and I thought it would be fun. I worked for Kroger's in the meat department for 17 years, mm -hmm. and um, I initially just thought I was too stupid to own my own business, mm -hmm. and I got, got the information on it and started looking into it and opened it up in 1993, August of 93, and um, I've been, it's, it's a daily learning process, so that's mm -hmm. how I opened it up, and uh, some of the most common things are, you know, the one thing was a big shock is there's a lot of work in owning your own bookstore. You don't get to mm. sit around and read. Um, it just, you have, you, they bring the books in for trade credit. Uh, we clean them, we categorize them, we alphabetize them, put them out on the shelves, and then selling in the customers and research and marketing. It's just a lot of work, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. A lot of now, fun. in your bookstore, you have like books that are second time around, so yes. to speak. Yes, I'm a quality used bookstore. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting. I love going there, folks, to the Old Pages bookstore because you have the coffee aisle, mm -hmm. and you know you have the various aisles of books, and you go up mm -hmm. and down, and you can find so many interesting things there. I remember <clears throat> I found the, um, you know, I'm a big Ruth Lyons fan. Oh yes, And yes. Uh, I found the the Ruth Lyons book in there. Mm -hmm. Remember me or uh, remember with, with me? With me, and uh, it's all about Ruth Lyons. And so you can find so many books there that you can't you can't purchase now. Mm -hmm that are a lot of print oh, and uh, oh and she was famous for the microphone with the flowers you know holding that and uh, her show's uh, quite a bit like yours uh, I well, think that you, you you model your show after her as far as the really informative do. guest mm. and the wonderful singing and stuff I really do and also this is for you this is oh, an right. autograph we got this in and it's autographed it's autographed, it's autographed by Bob Braun it's uh, circa 19 uh, 50 it's Has autographed Bob, Bra Bob Braun autograph on it. Oh, yes. and this is for me. That is for you. It's a gift for you. Oh, from thank us. you. See the kind because of things you can find in the store there. Yes, the books that we have range from um, something like this, which is a uh, a little story book uh, from the 1800s, 1892. Sophie May. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this one, um, the grandkids told us that uh, this is about 1913 to 1920 circa. Okay. And um, the darkening of it is from um, oil lamp. 
is reading this oh, yeah. book, you know, where the smoke comes out the okay. chimney so somebody got too close to it, and that's what the darkening is. And it's a paper cover, so it's in very fragile condition. Okay. But um, it ranges from that to we do sell a lot of children's books. We do sell a small amount of okay. new books. And I wanted to tell you about the, um, um, oops, sorry. That's okay. I wanted to tell you that what kind of show you what the latest is on children's books uh, used to be Goosebumps. They had a television show uh -huh. and the whole bit, and that's kind of gone downhill. And now it's Animorphs, which is the kids morph into mm -hmm. different items. And then f we start oh. carrying. We also carry new books, a small amount of new books. Okay. And these teddy bear, teddy bear for sale. These are called Hello Readers. They range from uh, preschool, just beginning to learning to read, mm -hmm. up to third grade, and they're, they're grade levels. They also have a Hello Math Reader. Mm -hmm. Uh, just, mm. So they're just really interesting books. So really, you have books for everyone, from oh, from yes. very small children to very you know. Yes. Very uncomfortable, and and I have a. I'm a big fan of you know kids, so uh -huh. uh, I believe that reading to your child and teaching a child how to Literacy. read, mm -hmm. it just it's it's a wonderful escape for a child. Uh -huh. And if they learn quick enough that the book is ten times better than the movie, you know that it makes all the difference in the world. It does it a child does. who likes to read is. Um, well, they hang out at the store. It's really cute. I have a bunch of kids that will stop in just to say hi and very respectful. Um, I don't have much theft or anything. It's just mm -hmm. really neat. I also carry um, cookbooks. This one is 1823. Uh, it's on the other okay. side. And this one is 1825, the Peerless Cookbook. Uh, this is in more poor condition. Okay, now uh, a question. Mm -hmm. How does a person take care of their old books? Uh, that is. People call me up continuously wanting to know. Um, the first thing I could tell everybody is get your books out of the basement. Get them okay. out of the garage. Get them out of the attic. Okay. Um, if you're going to keep your books, do not put them in boxes and store them somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, get them on bookshelves. There really is such a thing as bookworms. They will eat your books up. Hmm. You store a book in the garage in a box, no matter how tight you seal it, it's mm -hmm. going to have bugs. It's going to bring mice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just it's just they get nasty. Mm -hmm. They smell bad. So don't put them in a damp place. No. Okay. Um, books will absorb any odor, and they will also okay. they um, that damp smell. They absorb that, and that's a mm -hmm. mold spore that goes through the air. Uh -huh. um, it's and it will catch your other books. Will start smelling like that. But tell me, how can you tell also if a book has some value or some worth? Uh, okay. That is, everybody, you know, thinks because their grandma had a book, it's, you know, worth a million dollars or whatever. Uh -huh. It's, books aren't, it's hard to say rare. There's the scarcity of a book or the collectible, but you, you, a first edition is what everybody looks for and the printing of the first edition. Mm -hmm. um, the best way is to check it out at the downtown library yourself, mm -hmm. or there is uh, dealers out there that they charge about $50 an hour. To, okay. to check on books. So. Okay. Uh, lastly, I want to talk about this beautiful... This gift. is our personal invention. Uh, my husband, it started with my husband, had no idea what to get me. He knew I loved to read. And um, so I started getting gift certificates. He got me gift certificates to used bookstores. So uh -huh. we came up with... Um, these, they're called Book Blossoms. And what this, the single ones are, is $5 gift certificates. Oh, you give, you give okay. it to somebody for birthday, anniversary, a teacher, okay. honey, I'm sorry. And then this is a bouquet of books. It's a dozen $3 gift certificates in a florist what box. What a thoughtful idea. So that way you can get your wife, instead of getting flowers that are going to die, she can bring them into the store, use it on anything in the store, and get twice as many books because they're used. Isn't that innovative? Yes. Very and much You don't have so. to worry about, and you're acknowledging that she likes to read, you know, how everybody makes fun of stuff. So. Well, before we go, I want to make sure okay. that we give the viewers a phone number uh, yes. of Old Pages Bookstore mm -hmm. and also the new address. You're st still in basically in the same place, mm -hmm. but you're like a little, a few steps towards right. the street now, something like yeah. that. I've been in business for five years, and for the last four, we've been on the side of the building. Mm -hmm. And we, in November, we just expanded our entrances now in the middle of the shopping mm -hmm. center at 860 Union Road. Okay. Our telephone number is 832-3022. Um, For any people that are uh, calling long distance, I have an 800 number, okay. a 
887 book which is 2665 great i'm also um have an email it's oldpages at aol.com. Okay. And I have a fax machine. <laughs> and and she, we have the most interesting folks, the, the most interesting yes. little logo here. I don't know if the camera people can get a little shot of this here or something mm -hmm. like that. But, you know. He's a, he's a page out of history. It's an Elizabethan page uh -huh. uh, reading a book. And we call him Arthur, Arthur B. Page. Uh -huh. <laughs> so look for that interesting little logo. And I can't let you leave without a little gift Ooh. here, a box oh. of Esther Price Fine Chocolates. Yes. I have her book in my store, too. Okay. <laughs> you can get it right there at Old Page's Bookstore. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Dee Oh, oh it's Thank wonderful, you so much. William. Thank, Thank you, you for so having much. me. There's more to come. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crown Conservatory. There is always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phipps, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on The William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present The William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to The William Pace Show YouTube channel be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. Lay me down beneath the willows in the grass with a branch of girl singing as it pass. And when I was a laying low, I can hear it go as it go. Singing, sleep my honey, take your rest at last. Today I'm talking with Laverne Keenan Ski, the historic site manager of the Paul Lawrence Dunbar House. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, it's a pleasure to Thank be here. Thank you so much. I just love uh, the poetry of Paul Lawrence Dunbar. In fact, you know, when I'm on the road for concerts, uh, one of the things I say to people in the Encore number, I'm from uh, Dayton, Ohio, the home of aviation and Paul Lawrence Dunbar. I always say that. Great. Great. Now, how long have you been the site manager, historic site manager there at the house? Almost one decade now. Almost one decade. Yes. So you plan to stay right there till the next century? Well, I plan to stay until some definite goals are realized. Mm -hmm. uh, Dunbar was memorialized in 1936. 1936. Mm -hmm. A shrine was created by the state legislature, mm -hmm. a unanimous vote, stating that the Paul Lawrence Dunbar House would ever stand for the, to the greatness of the writer from Dayton. Mm -hmm. And progress in moving forward has been slow mm. because 1936 was a long time ago and oh, it's yeah. very important that we accomplish some major goals now if Dunbar is going to move into the next, next millennium right and mm. that's what we're about right now wonderful interpreting Dunbar on a daily basis and long-range planning mm -hmm. to bring the Dunbar forces together across the United States in a cohesive manner mm -hmm. you do know that um, 58 Dunbar high schools exist across the United States and yeah, I didn't know that. Yes, and we look forward to bringing them to Dayton uh, for various reasons. Uh, one might be even a winter classic mm -hmm. to have Dunbar Baltimore play Dunbar Chicago oh. or <laughs> Dunbar <laughs> Lexington play Dunbar great. Dayton. That would be and great. So we just have many, many direct directions to pursue at this time and that's mm -hmm. what we're trying to do build a solid find foundation mm -hmm. finally for mm -hmm. Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Now there's various phases of work that's going on there at the museum. Now uh, what phase are you in now? We're in phase two. Phase two. Okay. Yes the two adjunct houses there at the site are presently under restoration mm -hmm. and renovation mm -hmm. and uh, at the completion of phase two the urban barn will be uh, restored and will function for us as a multi-purpose area. Okay. Hopefully, we'll use it for children's activities, storytelling, birthday parties, and that kind that of thing. That would be great. But William, I am very delighted to tell you that we are now a five-building site on Why? two acres of property. Wow. 
One building, the Mundage House, which has been acquired, will house Dunbar's library, where scholars okay. will be invited to come okay. and uh, enjoy Dunbar's works, do mm -hmm. research, but it will be a non-lending library. Okay. That building will also have facilities to accommodate volunteers and okay. their needs and staff offices. The coal house, which is right next door, will house the exhibit. Mm -hmm. and parts of the exhibit will be a little interactive. Mm -hmm. The upstairs of that building will function for support offices, mm -hmm. the Dunbar alumni, the Dunbar volunteers. Mm -hmm. We have a visitor center, which is an entrance point, which is connected okay. with connectors to the two mm -hmm. houses. Mm -hmm. The visitor center is the place where you enter, but at the same time, it's the location for group gatherings. Mm -hmm. The Dunbar house will just be pristine, almost as though Dunbar just walked out of the door. His family parlor furniture will be coming back. The front parlor furniture is already there, but many of the artifacts which have been stored at the Ohio Historical Society in Columbus will be coming back and it'll, it'll seem to the visitor that Dunbar just stepped out of the door. All of the ambience of Dunbar will be captured and maintained. Wonderful. Do you think that um, today uh, more and more people are learning more about the work of Paul Lawrence Dunbar? Mama. Increasingly so. Interesting, though, Dunbar was internationally famous mm -hmm. yes, and yes. Uh, is still uh, with national prominence. Mm -hmm. I find that in other areas of the United States, Dunbar is inclusive in the curriculum mm -hmm. of the school systems. Mm -hmm. That is not the case necessarily in Ohio. Mm. But increasingly, yes. Um, in other states, but not in Ohio. Yes. But, you know, isn't that like the, the old adage, though, a prophet's, you know, not known in his own land, but yes. known in other lands, yes. you know? But um, tell us a little bit about the days where you can go on a tour. And, uh, uh, and also, uh, is there a charge for the tour? to go in? There's a nominal charge, okay. $3 for adults, $1.25 for children. Yeah, nominal. Um, we are open seasonally. Okay. From, well, you can think of it like this. In the winter, we're closed weekends, and in the summer, we're open weekends. Okay. And so our summer is defined as from Memorial Day to Labor Day, mm -hmm. and after then, we're open uh, for weekends in October and November and through the winter months we're there Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is call 224-7061, mm -hmm. arrange a tour and we will give you a tour and for a very special tour we will wear period clothing. Oh I love this. Family this, reunions. This costume here that kind of thing. is beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. Um, I want to ask a little bit about, um, I know each year they have a parade, a Paul Lawrence Dunbar parade. Yes. Now, when will the parade be for this year? I'm not a part of the planning of the parade. That okay. comes through the NOS Priority NOS, Board. Okay. That's a city um, Event. effort, yes. Okay. Uh, it's usually on Dunbar's birthday weekend. Okay. And Dunbar's birthday this year will be on the 27th. 27th. However, okay. we are presently planning a commemorative uh, celebration dinner at the Art Museum in okay. Dayton, the Dayton Art Museum. Tell us the date. Do you have that yet? It will be the 26th okay, of, of June. June, okay. And uh, it will be a progressive dinner. Okay. You will come first to the museum, then uh, launch by way of the old trolleys. Oh, okay. Uh, and once you launch a trolley, you will then go to various sites of the new national park. Uh -huh. And at each site, you will have a meal course. Oh, that sounds wonderful. It will be wonderful. a progressive dinner. Wonderful. Then we will return downtown uh, to the art museum for the main course, dessert, recognitions, and celebration. Well, count me in. I want to go, I want to, go to that. June 26. Okay, count me in. All Give right. us a phone number again for, for information. 224-7061. Please call because our staff is small. Okay. And when we are not uh, scheduled, we are very frequently in the community doing okay. outreach. But they so, can leave a message. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, especially during the winter. We, we go to schools, organizations. So you have an outreach program. 
program. Oh, yes, we go out yes. to the community, to yes, schools and churches and great. So yes. if someone would want to like a, a lecture, lecture or some kind of information, they could call you and you could, would go out and talk to a group or organization. We do all the time and we're very delighted to do so because enlightening people about the Dunbar legacy and all that it represents is just our pleasure. Oh, great. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on today. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you so much. And we can't let you go without a box of Esther Price fine chocolates. Oh, how kind. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. There's more to come. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. My guest this evening is Lloyd Commissioner Lloyd Lewis. Thank you so much for coming on tonight. Well, it's such a pleasure to be here. Such Thank you so much. Here. Congratulations to you. Well, you, you made the race. <laughs> yes, it was, a, it was a tough race. It's a tough race, and uh, we we're just glad to, to win it. You know, to, to be. And uh, we, we think this. We think that the commission that we have is probably going to be one of the finest commissions we've ever had. Wonderful. That's the way I feel. Wonderful. And tell me, what, what are some of the goals that you would like to, to accomplish for the city this year? Okay. Uh, as I walked around and talked to people, we want to have high quality, high quality basic services, basic city services, what are basic city services? You know, the streets, the uh, garbage pickup, mm -hmm. street lights, mm -hmm. the parks. And everything we want that to be where Dayton has always been has always been at the top. Okay, so you want that quality that that's we there. Raise that we oh, want you want to even raise it higher. We want to maintain what we got and raise if we okay. can. And so, what steps are you going to take to 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 raise the quality okay. even higher? Well, that's why we hire a city manager. City manager. Yes, okay. I, I don't have to do that. I just here's okay. the, ideas, the idea. This is idea. The city okay. manager and make sure that those things work. So okay. she's working on that. Then. Absolutely, absolutely, and doing a great job, by the way. Wonderful. I want to I want to ask you. I hear a lot of people flying out of Columbus and flying out of Cincinnati and flying out. Why are people flying out of Columbus and Cincinnati, and Indianapolis, and not so much flying well, out of Dayton? Quite frankly, they've been able to get you know, cheaper airfare. Okay. Uh, we have been really working on that, and I think it's even in the paper today okay. that uh, our our rates have come down. We we talk to the airlines, and our rates have come down. For example, we've got a uh, flight to Atlanta for $69 out of Dayton, out of Dayton. That's wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we're, we're, we're going to get those things back because we're talking to these people. See, we have the facilities there for a hub, mm -hmm. and we need to attract a hub. Mm -hmm. And I understand that we've, we've even been a straight through flight to uh, Washington. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not to Washington. We already got straight through to Washington, but to New York City. To New York City. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that is changing then. So Absolutely. people are, are flying less and less from right. Cincinnati, Columbus, and Indianapolis. And, and we should take you know, into consideration the cost, like the time it's going to take them, where their car is going to be parked, are they, you know, is it safe? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's what I always say, because, you know, I do a lot of singing on the road oh, and sure so forth. Yeah. And uh, I know sometimes I could maybe go to Indianapolis and, or Columbus and get a cheaper rate, but I say that my time's worth something if I had to travel all the way over, the, over there and Absolutely. park the car and then get out. And, you know, so all those things you have to take in consideration, too. I want to talk... And, and, and those, excuse me, and those rates aren't necessarily consistent. They change yeah. from time to time right, too, right. Mm -hmm. so they could yeah, be higher yeah, one, watch. Yeah. higher one day or lower the next. Tell me a little bit about the the current city uh, commission management form of government. I want to know oh, about let's that. Let's go back a little bit. Okay. 
there's two kinds of city in the state. Okay. It's a charter city, which makes your own laws and everything, okay. and a statutory city. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cleveland, for example, is a statutory city. Mm -hmm. Everything the state law makes, that's what they have to run. We are a charter city, and we make our own laws. We have five commissioners. The mayor is one of the commissioners. Mm -hmm. And we make the laws. This is the um, legislative group. The manager is the administrative group. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. But this is a, a thing that's been around since 1914. Baden was the model. <coughs> And uh, we're still out front as, as one of the proponents of manager, council, former government. And mm -hmm. a lot of people are following our lead. Mm -hmm. um, with the city of Dayton, the size of Dayton, how do they deal with their perpetual financial problems? There's always money problems. And what we're working on is a five-year budget Five-year budget. See, in, in, in the state of Ohio, you have to, by law, have to, by law, uh, balance your budget every year. But if we could get this on a five-year cycle, mm -hmm. and that's what we're working on right now, a five-year mm -hmm. cycle, so that there's, you know, and every, every, when the year's up, we add another year on to the end of it. Mm -hmm. And we're able to, to, to balance the thing that way. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's, it's very exciting. Again, our manager is a very exciting person. We're coming through with some really neat plans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And lastly, I want can't let you go without talking about baseball. <laughs> Tell us what's going on with that. There's going to be baseball in Dayton. There's going to be. There's going to be baseball in Dayton. That. You have me to that. <laughs> There's going to be baseball in Dayton, and uh, we're so pleased that uh, that will be. I'm not because I'm a baseball nut myself. Okay. I, I was uh, brought up with the Dayton Ducks and the Dayton Indians. Okay. So I know about that. Okay, that's just that, that was just a few years ago. Just oh. a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> So there is definitely going to be baseball. There's going to be baseball. What, when do you think the first season will be? We're looking at April of 99. April 99. Just a year from now. A year from now. That's right. So stay tuned. That's folks. right. Stay tuned. And remember that Lewis told you that. I heard it first here. <laughs> heard it from Lloyd Lewis. Okay. Well, I can't let you leave without a box of Esther Price fine chocolates. Wow. And my, my favorite. It is. It's good, but I'm not going to be tasting any of it because I'm trying to, to lose weight, but, but uh, uh, it is delicious. It really is. And uh, congratulations to you again. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. There's more to come. Stay with us. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. Some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on the William Pace Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present the William Pace Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you. The William Pace Show through the years has been a beacon of light in the Midwest, taking you to such destinations as the Navy Pier, the Palmer Hilton Palace Hotel, the German Village, the Showboat Majestic Theater, the Ohio Village, and the Crone Conservatory. There's always something cooking in the kitchen mm, on the William Pace Show. 
some of the biggest stars, entertainers, and political figures like B.B. King, Jimmy Walker, Bob Carlyle, Patty Austin, Mr. T, Whitley Phibbs, and Congressman Tony Hall have appeared on The William Pay Show. Now, without further ado, we proudly present The William Pay Show on CATV, coming to you from the heart of the Midwest. Subscribe to the William Pace Show YouTube channel. Be sure to click the bell and give us the thumbs up. Thank you.